So let's say you have 13,000, 26,000, 50,000 emails in your inbox and somebody walks by and makes a judgy comment about it. I'm gonna tell you what to say to them and how to quickly get that number down. Just look them in the eye and say, no, 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 I do this on purpose. I got tired of wasting my time putting emails into folders and deleting them and I enjoy the daily reminder of my popularity. These days, most people have tons of email storage, super fast hard drives, search works great, so you don't need to put things into folders anymore. It's just not a problem to have thousands or tens of thousands of email in your inbox anymore. So you do you, sort them, don't sort them, whatever. I'm gonna show you some shortcuts for how you can move emails around quickly, but you just don't need to. If all you wanna do is make this big scary red number go away, I'll show you how to do that. You just go to the Apple menu and then system preferences and then notifications and then go to mail and just turn off the badge app icon. When you turn that off, the number goes away. The other option for that is you can go to select all. So you go edit and then select all or command A on the keyboard and then go to message and mark as red. So when you do this, it's gonna mark all of these messages as red and you don't see that scary 13,000 number there anymore. So those are quick ways to just get rid of the glaring red number. If you wanna actually file them into folders, I'll tell you the folders that I would recommend creating. You just hover your mouse over the account where you want to create the folders and make sure it matches the one that has all the email that you wanna file. You wanna be moving emails only into folders within the same account. Like this is my Lucas Roberts at Gmail account. So I'm moving things from the inbox into folders within this section here. Hover your mouse over the account, hit the plus sign. I would recommend creating one called completed, create another one called reference, create another one called action required because you need to do stuff with it, with the email and another one called travel for when you're going on trips and you wanna put your um, bus tickets, plane tickets, uh, hotel information, et cetera, into the travel folder. These ones, when you create them within a Gmail account in Apple Mail like this, they will sync to your phone as well. Uh, then I would go up to the view menu and say show favorites bar. So that shows the favorites across the top here and this will match the favorites that you have in the top left here. And then I always go action uh, as the first one here. So I'll drag it up to there and then uh, completed as the second one, reference as the third and travel as the fourth. So now you've got these favorites up here, you've got them up here. If I press on the keyboard command one, that actually takes me into this folder. So I can actually see what's in this folder just by pressing command one, command two is completed, command three is reference, command four is travel. So now for the killer app, the awesome shortcut, you do command control one and it will move this email into that folder. Boom, that just went into action required. And so if I go back to my inbox and then do command control two, this one just moves into the completed folder and then go back to my inbox. Now you get the idea, you can actually, once you get used to these numbers, you can actually go really quickly through a lot of email. You can do command control one, three, this is travel, four, two, 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 complete, complete, complete. And you can just like crush a ton of email all at once and they just get moved into these folders. These will sync to your phone, like I said. So as you move stuff, as you file stuff, it, go, it gets out of sight, out of mind, but it's still accessible from your phone. If you wanna move a bunch at once, you can just go edit and then select all, and then command control two will move those into the completed folder. Really quick, easy way to get emails moved. Now, we can help you if you like the tips in this video, but you don't wanna try it on your own. 
If you don't actually have a ton of email storage, this is fixable, we can help with that. If your search isn't working, if you have several email accounts and you wanna simplify or consolidate, if you don't have Apple Mail set up, maybe Apple Mail is set up wrong and it's giving you trouble, or if you want help unsubscribing from a ton of email, or if you just want to delete or move tons of email from one account to another, all of that we can help with. Just head to macandhome.com slash booking and we will help. Boom, Mac Epiphany. If you found this helpful and you want some private Mac coaching with me or someone from my team, just head to macandhome.com slash booking. We work with people all over the world. We'll help you with whatever is on your Mac problems list and you will never feel judged or shamed for whatever mess you are in. Boom, Mac Epiphany.